Hey guys, what is up the NeoCubist here? Welcome to episode 7 of my Minecraft Falling Falling Survival Let's Play. So, today's episode is going to be the most... What happened here? By the way, um, I don't know what happened. My inventory is full. I'm going to sort it, but we are going to have the most fun we've ever had in a 200 by 200 survival series. Uh, I'm sorry if I sound weird. I've just woken up, but I got to record. I got to do it, but let me sort some stuff. Okay, much better. All right. We got a f sorted inventory. Um, I really want to get a enchant an enchanting table going. Um, we have these villagers going, which is really cool. I was going to build a bunch of different little jobs for them. Um, I wanted to get some more beds, but it's kind of hard to get beds, you know, because I don't really have any sheep. But I want to make this cool thing called a composter. Uh, oddly enough, we need fence. So we can grab some wood from in here. And then what else do we need? Because I'm, I'm just totally like, I have the worst memory ever. We need fence and just planks. So let's grab a couple of planks and a couple of fence. And then we can give them jobs. And please, it's becoming night and I really don't want... Okay, here. You know what? You have a job now. You are now my compost guy. Just please don't steal my bed. Please don't steal my bed. Please. Bed was not stolen. Can confirm. Did get bed in time. Uh, I'm going to need a few slabs though just so that we can actually place these things down. So I was reading through the comments, as I always do, and uh, seeing what you guys were saying and stuff like that. Um, I think I'm just going to do a little extension outwards like this. And then I'm going to put these blocks right here to be open so that we can fill them. So I'm going to put, actually, you know what, we're not going to fill those. But we're going to fill the into like, right there. And uh, we're going to put a composter down. Hopefully that gives one of these villagers another job because, yeah, this one's a farmer. This one is a mason, so clay. And then uh, this guy doesn't have a job, so we're going to put another job block down. So I think the most attainable is going to be a blast furnace or a smoker. Uh, let me see what the recipe is for a smoker. Uh, yeah, just strip logs or no, any logs around a furnace. Okay, that's actually super, super easy. I don't know why, but I thought that was going to be much more difficult. Look, we can just craft one like this. So we just type in smoker, shift, boom. All right, so now we've got another job which is perfect and then this one at some point should switch over to it yep and now we have a butcher okay so we can start with our trading escapades now um i just need to find more beds because right if i if i allow them to sleep um things will be a lot better so let me go search around let me grab my shears though looks like they were just right here um so let me grab my shears and then we're gonna go search around and try to find a couple of sheep so if you guys have noticed the world is getting taller and taller and taller and over time it will eventually become just very very difficult for anything to get done um so one thing oh that's diamond uh one thing i do want to do for sure is dig out a big area before it gets too big and uh put some slabs above it and just have a big old grass area for mobs to spawn like sheep and stuff like that so i hear like a chicken right and you'll hear the occasional mob but not enough for us to start a farm with obviously you're gonna hear cows because of our cow killing machine if you guys missed episode six you missed the construction of this beautiful uh slaughterous machine that's not a word slaughterous but it's a machine it drowns cows and then gives us the loot um and we will improve it in the future because i know right now it doesn't really work that well but um we will fix it at some point i don't know when but at some point so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just i may film a time lapse i may not it's just gonna be a lot of digging so what i'm gonna do between now and when i cut back to the camera is well first of all i need to find an area to do this at um and i'm not really sure where but you know what i think like right here is gonna be as good as ever um i just need to make another axe real quick hold on I figure that a diamond axe really can't hurt us, only serves to help us, so we're going to give a, give ourselves the best tool ever and give ourselves a diamond axe. So not the best tool ever, but yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a certain area to do this in, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do it from like right here, uh, like right here, so let me just like make a little indentation all the way over to like right here. And all I'm going to do is break out this area. It's not going to be super, super big, but it needs to be big enough to where I can put some grass at the bottom and it will start spawning uh, creatures. So let me get to work on that. And then whenever I am done, I will come back. It's not going to be something I want to film all of. But what I want to do is I want to get some slabs. So hold on. Okay, I think that should be enough slabs. And yeah, basically what I want to do is I will put slabs on like this block right here. Uh, just something that's above these blocks 
And all we have to do... Oh my gosh, where did that come from? You are supposed to... You're not supposed to be here. You shouldn't You shouldn't be here. Um, and a lot of people were saying, Neo, why are you using cobblestone for everything? Well, I have a ton of cobblestone. Eventually, I'd like to upgrade the paths and turn them into wood or something, because that is a good point. You guys are like, how many paths do you see made of cobble? Or, or no, I, I think it's mainly the floors in the house you guys don't like being cobblestone, which I get. And I will change eventually, but for right now, we're just going to stick with what I know. So I'm going to dig this huge area out, and then I'll come back, and you'll get to see all the progress. So don't leave. All right, well, I really want to show you guys some of the progress that I've made. Uh, I've made a pretty good bit. I don't think I'm going to make it too much bigger for right now. Um, again, all I'm trying to do is make an area where sheep will spawn. And uh, surprisingly enough, an area like this is actually probably much bigger than I'm going to need. Uh, because animals don't have literally anywhere to spawn. Any flat plane of grass, even like this small, will just spawn an absurd number. Just because of the way this map is structured. So let me finish up this real quick. And then once it's done, I will show you what my plans are for it. Um, I kind of want to make it look a little bit nicer than just like a, a grass box. So hopefully we can end up with something that looks pretty cool. Uh, but as you guys can see, I do have a few blocks of grass growing. Luckily, there was just grass on the floor, so I didn't really have to do too much as far as that goes. Uh, but yeah, all I'm doing is just putting this roof over our heads, and I think this is going to be the last block I am going to do it. Uh, so just like this row right here. And then everything will fill in around it eventually, and it'll be super cool that we have our own little like grass area in here. I don't know. I think it'll be cool. Uh, you guys will have to be the judge. Uh... You guys will have to be the judge of that, so let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea. If you think it's a bad idea, let me know in the comments, but I don't really see how it could be bad, but maybe it could be. I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, back to the grind. I'll come back when I'm done. All right, got three more blocks to place, and we are complete. Cool. Um, so this area isn't super, super big, but it is big enough to where things will start to grow on it, I promise you. Um, one thing I do want to do, just to make it look a little bit better, because it does look odd uh, that things just float. Um, and you know, it, it's okay in Minecraft for things to do that, but I do want to make it look as good as possible. So I'll come back here with a few more decorative blocks, and we will fancy it up and make it look real nice. Um, we may go exploring into the nether in this episode. I'm not really sure. I don't want to guarantee anything. Uh, but eventually we are going to have to go to the nether either way. So I think that may be a good choice. Um, at some point soon to go at least so we'll put the torch in a torch right there and then let me go grab some more decorative blocks I think what I'm gonna do is take some fence and uh, let me see what do we what do we have here exactly we do have fence I need to put up a lot of blocks though uh, we'll put slabs in here just because we're gonna need a special little place for slabs but it's cool just again to have the block chest because every block just goes in there Except the ores, which I don't know. They sometimes I get confused and I throw the ores into the into the wrong chest, but eh, it'll be okay. We have so much iron. I don't really think we need to worry about iron, but you know, if we ever have to worry about it, we just know we have a ton. So I want to take fence, like I said, which I don't know where. Okay, here's the fence, and then I want to take some cobblestone and I want to make something. We can take some of that. I want to take some cobblestone and I want to make a few stairs like this. And uh, I think we can make this look nice and fancy. Now, I don't remember. Okay, there is cobblestone walls now. Um, so we'll take a few of these. And then I want to get a little bit more coal and some more sticks. And obviously, I want to make a little bit more torches because we, we ran out completely, but it's okay. Yeah, let's go in here. Let's fancy this up and make it look real good. Because, you know, you guys may know me for a builder, but I haven't been doing too, too, too like, crazy builds at all. Um... You know, I guess it isn't a bad thing, too, that we'll have a few slimes spawn in here. Um, it's, it, you know, it could be worse. Uh, but right here, I don't want this. I want this just to be fence. And uh, we are going to need to grab a fence gate or two. Let's see. I think we're going to need two. So let me go grab two fence gates. All right. Fence gates are in hand. And there we go. Um, so we will get a bunch of slime spawning, I guess. I'm not really sure where they're coming from exactly. Uh, but I assume that they're coming from some area that is in here that's a slime chunk which is a chunk that allows slimes to spawn and uh, I don't know which one of them it is but it's got to be one of them uh, but I feel like this makes it look a lot better just because it's not like just some weird unsupported structure now and then we could just add torches in the corners as well and I don't know let me know if you think that looks cool I think it looks pretty nice it's better than how it would look if it was just plain um, I know it's just cobblestone and you know it's kind of boring but 
You know, I don't really know what other roof material I have so much of. I can just spam down like that. I think cobblestone is going to be the only bet. Uh, but yeah, should be pretty fun to see what will spawn in there once it's all full of grass. So the, what I want to do in the rest of this episode is this cow spawner. Well, to be honest with you, it does work, uh, but it's a little it's a little odd. So let me hit a few cows into the... Okay, there we go. We'll hit a few cows into there. We'll show you what happens. So they get sucked up. And I did even this out a little bit in between this episode and last. I wanted to make it look a little bit better. Uh, so I wanted to put some slabs on it. So what happens is they get sucked up right here. And then they flow over here. And like this. And they should just go up in here. Um, the only problem I'm encountering is not only will they just kind of buffer right there. They just... I don't know. I don't think that drops fall anymore. I think they float. Like for instance if we threw a fence in here. Watch. It'll go in there. No, I guess some blocks float of like a slime ball. I don't even know. Some blocks float, some blocks don't. So I mean, it really just—I don't—I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I want—I'm curious to see if this cow will float. So let, let's see. Um, okay, so he got pushed up in here. He's gonna get stuck and then drown. So we'll see if he drops the stuff or not. Okay. Okay. See, his stuff just floats, and we can't even really get it. Uh, so the cow farm, in its current condition, doesn't really work. Uh, we could break these blocks right here and allow us to get them. Uh, but I was really hoping to have it automated with a hopper. And like, I don't know, it just seems weird that it doesn't work. So let me go back to the house before before the, the sky gets too dark and then we can't do anything. But right now it just looks like slimes are spawning in there, which, you know, it isn't the end of the world. Um, I do need slimes. Please don't steal my bed. Thank God. These guys, I don't know what it, what's with them, but they just love stealing my bed. Um, I, think, I guess it's because they don't have any other beds. Uh, but I know I need sheep to make these guys uh, reproduce and make more villagers. So I'm going to go try to find more sheep. That's the reason I built that little thing right there was to try to find sheep. Uh, I may have the, yeah, I had the render distance on, <laughs> on this maximum. So I'm uh, sorry if it seemed a little choppy at any point. Yeah, you're, you're a scrub. Okay, well, I'm going to run around, and I'm going to try to find a sheep. If I do, I'll come and show you guys. If I find anything else cool, I will show you, but I'm just going to run around off camera. Also, for all of you that keep suggesting that I use this along with ScrambleCraft, so Falling Falling and ScrambleCraft, uh, ScrambleCraft is actually a mod that's developed for 1.12, um, the 1.12 version of Java Minecraft, and this is 1.14 or 1.14, however you want to say it, so it won't work. Uh, and the ScrambleCraft mod, it will be updated to 1.14 at some point, uh, but as of right now, it's not updated, so the series isn't over or anything, by the way. I'm just recording three of these in a row because these, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the consistency back, because, right, I said that I think my channel's, not that I think my channel's dying, but I'm getting a lot less views, like, what's going on, guys, what do you think? And uh, a lot of you, what you said that made sense, like I haven't been sticking with one series exclusively. So I'm going to try to make three of these in a row, and then maybe like three scramble craft in a row, and then maybe three RL craft in a row. Um, just something like that, and I feel like that will give you guys a more sense of consistency. I want to have a wide variety of content on my channel, but I don't want to have so much of one thing that it feels like that's all that I give you guys to watch, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to find a balance here. Again, I'm still new to doing Let's Plays. I was I used to do only tutorials. Um, so bear with me. I'm doing my best, but I haven't found any sheep so far. I just figured I'd come on camera and explain uh, what's going on with all the series on my channel. But yeah, I'll come back if I find a sheep again. Look what I found. I see it. I saw it in the corner of my eye. Look at this. Sheep. And we got enough wool for a bed. Cool. Uh, so I'd like to have ideally more than one bed. <laughs> I think you need a bunch of beds. Uh, but this sheep is over like in the corner of the map. Oh man, this sheep is over in the corner of the map and I don't know Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if I will be able to find this sheep again I'd like to be able to so I guess we'll just we'll just leave him over here We'll just sort of run around and see if he let's see well There is grass in that hole. So maybe it'll regenerate its wool. I really don't know uh, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continue running around. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a time lapse. Maybe I don't know how that would turn out if I was just sprinting around. I don't think it'd be very good. So let's just head back home. And uh, we got 18 iron ore. We got enough. We got three wool, which is good. Oh, I hear another sheep. I hear another sheep. Where are you at? There you go. Give me your wool. Did you give me three? Uh. No, you gave me one wool. <laughs> well, thank you, sheep. 
it's okay. His coat just wasn't that thick yet. He's a, it's a freshly grown coat. Didn't have enough time to become too big for him or her. All right, well, let's just find... I guess another sheep? I don't know. I don't think there's any more sheep. But as you guys can see, this world is getting crazy and or crazier and crazy. Oh man. Crazier and crazier the longer it goes on. Like I said, like I mean, it's just gonna indefinitely get weirder and weirder. Because like right now, it's just I don't know, it's just really nice. I like it a lot. Um But yeah, this this part of the world around here that I had this little castle thing he built. I'm really liking it. I think it looks pretty cool. Some people were saying, Neo, that's not a castle. And, uh, I mean, I could see where you're coming from, but whatever you want to call a castle, I think could be a castle, as long as it's not something that looks, like, completely different um, than what you're saying. But I think this qualifies somewhat as a castle. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you think it shouldn't be a castle, uh, let me know in the comments. If you think it should be, also let me know in the comments. We'll, we'll, we'll get a war going on below us. The war, or is this a castle? We'll see. Um, hopefully everyone says it is, so I can be like, haha, I knew it. Uh, but if it isn't, then just let me know, and we'll see what people say. So I'm gonna put a row of slabs here. I'm just gonna put one bed down. It's the only a uh, spare bed we have. We have three villagers. We need a total of four beds for now. I don't know what will make them make have children. I have no idea. Like, I really don't. Um, so I guess we'll find out eventually. Uh, but I really don't think I have enough sugar cane right now for anything to happen. Let's see, how much do we have? Yeah, no, we don't have that much at all. We have 44 sugar cane. Okay, well, you know what? Ow. See, blocks can still fall on me, and they will still fall on me, just kind of randomly. It's kind of funny. Let's go over here to this new fangled area we built, and let's convert a little bit of it into an area for sugarcane to grow, because I'm tired of waiting on that little tiny farm, and it doesn't look like this is spawning animals anyway, so might as well, I guess. Um, we can just fill it up like this, make it better anyways. Okay, and then I don't even know if we'll, well, I gotta break all these on the outside anyways. I think we'll have enough area for sugarcane to grow here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being a bit sarcastic. I just don't know if, th I don't know if this will take all 44. No, but close, took like half. Okay, well we'll do the same thing like right here, just not as long. And then this should be good, I assume. I don't know. See, it's weird having torches because it's not, it, it just, the game gets confused on when it wants to place the torches and when it wants to place what is in your hand. And I don't think it'll, I know it's loud, I don't think it'll ever truly get that down, but that will make sugarcane growing happen a lot quicker. Um, let me grab some food. I just realized, oh, I was gonna smelt up some steak. I don't even have like, I will have an area where furnaces are, so, hmm, maybe we should do a little row of furnaces right here. Um, I just need to craft another furnace, which oddly enough, I don't even have enough cobblestone for. I do in here though. I was gonna say, there's no way I don't have enough. Um, so something I am gonna try is I'm gonna try to do this as a little bit shorter of an episode because a lot of people are complaining that the episodes are too long. Um, I don't know if that's like a if that's like real or just, I mean I know some people don't have enough time, which I understand, but some people like watching like the whole thing. And I don't know which one to do. I don't know which would be right. Uh, but I will try to shorten them maybe a little bit and we'll see how they perform versus my other videos uh, But yeah, we should get some food pretty soon. That would be uh, that would be very nice if we could get some food um, Okay, there we go cool well, Like right now the video is only 18 minutes long um, I'd like it to be closer to like 20 minutes 25 minutes something like that um, So I am gonna do what people requested this it does look a little weird I will admit with the ground being a different like it's just it's just cobblestone. I get it So I think we're gonna do oak wood. I think it's gonna be our best bet um, It's also like the easiest kind of tree to grow. So hopefully I have a couple of bones somewhere. Yes, I do oh, I have even more in my inventory nice and uh, we're just gonna do this for a bit. I'm gonna grow some trees, come back with a bunch of oak wood planks, and then make those into slabs, and then we'll just fill in this area below. So I'll come back in a bit. I'm just gonna mine a bunch of these trees. Um, I don't know how long it'll take, but it doesn't matter because you guys won't have to watch. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, well, I've got all these trees in a row now. Um, I'm just gonna let them grow. I'll give them a little boost, but I don't think any of them are gonna grow. 
Uh, that may take a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure that blocks didn't break those. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have near enough slabs to do this, but we'll have a good bit to start with. Uh, only problem being is that if I break an area out, I have to put slabs on it or blocks will start to fill in. So I guess I'm just going to break some of these and uh, do a little test run and see how many of these we truly have, if it'll be enough. I really don't know. Uh, but it will look a whole lot better, I think, if we have oak wood planks in the floor. So to, to everyone who suggested that, thank you guys. I appreciate it. My channel will be nothing without you. Um, I don't know. It, it, it is nice having people suggest things to me because even after all these years of building, you'd think I'd be like really good and I'd you know know exactly what to use. But I don't know. Sometimes it just takes a little shove in the right direction from you guys uh, to steer me in the right ways in terms of building and Minecraft. Uh, but yeah, let me get to the grind here. I know I, I know I've said that like a million times. Let me get back to the grind, guys. It's really not that big of a grind. I'm just gonna break a bunch of cobblestone slabs and then replace them with oak wood slabs. So I'll come back in a bit when I've used all these slabs and we'll see how much of the floor we have done. I don't know why, but this place feels much bigger than I think it actually is. And I think it's just because it's taking so long to fill in all these slabs. But as you can see, um, that amount of slabs, which was like probably five or six trees, was a pretty good bit of progress. So, looky here. See? I think it's going to look a lot better like that. So thank you to everyone again who suggested that. Um, but I don't know if I'll be able to finish it this episode or not. But definitely in the next episode, I will get it done. Um, all I've got to do is just keep making these slabs and then just keep breaking blocks. And I don't know, it just takes a while. But let me place all these down now. It's funny because every once in a while I'll just hear like a prunk, like you know, like when a villager gets hurt, and I'm just like in my head I'm like I wonder what hurt them, and then I realize there's a bunch of falling blocks, like you just saw, like it could hit these villagers, and uh, eventually kill them. I I really don't know. Maybe does it reduce their trade? No, um, but I can trade ten clay for one emerald there, and that's like a really good trade. Uh, so maybe at some point after I get a more established village going in here, I will like put something over their heads so they can not die. I feel like that would be much better than them just running around this big open area. Um, but as long as they don't leave fence gates open, they can't leave, right? So I don't think they'll ever like go away. Um, we did have them escape a few times before, and it was not fun because they did not, I don't know, they just ran around to all areas of the map. Um, and one thing I am noticing is that I don't need this anymore. I have the sugar cane growing in another area. And uh, I already have a farm along one wall of this map. So I feel like this, uh, it'll be okay. That's what I'm trying to say. I think it'll be a lot better. And then look, we could fill it in like this. Makes our work a little, just that much easier. Okay, well, this pickaxe is about to break. So I'm going to repair it again. Um, we have that anvil, which gives a, I think that gives someone a job. I think it may be the blast furnace, actually. Uh, but we have two more diamonds, so we might as well use it on this pickaxe. Uh, getting diamonds, I think, will be just a little bit more difficult every second we wait. So, we may want to hunt for some diamonds next episode. Well, that's not repaired at all. What the heck? I gave it two diamonds and it did, well, it did two-thirds, I guess, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish doing this and then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks But I think I think we should have enough to get it pretty much finished if not all the way All right, well, we have enough oak slabs now to fill in all of this area right here uh, Minus what I have that I have like an L shape out of cobblestone. I literally counted it out exactly So I, this is gonna be the end of the episode now <laughs> We'll leave this right here. I guess we'll fill it in in another episode um, I might as well just get one, you know, I might as well get like a couple of trees growing. I thought I was going to have enough, but I uh, overestimated my amounts. But thank you guys so much for watching episode 7. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, let me know in the comment section down below or let me know by leaving a like. Of course, you don't have to do either one of those. But if you are new to the channel and you want to see more Falling Falling, be sure to click, to click the subscribe button so that you are notified when I upload. And uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see you guys in and around the channel. So if you want to see some more, then subscribe. If you don't, then don't subscribe. But if you do subscribe, make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you are notified when I start live streaming too, if you don't want to miss those. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in episode 8. Bye!